to discuss were things that have always consumed me through my life um, and I wanted just to elaborate them just on a little bit of where it began because I think sometimes when I sit around and I'm doing the things that I do I go well, what is it that what is that voice that's in my head well, what, is, what is that thing that just seems to be there more than ever or, or more than usual all the time and it feels like a repeated thing. So I started asking people if they felt the same thing. If I named these four things, would they agree with them? And what I was finding was it was yes, yes, and yes. This sort of kept being a repeated theme in other people's heads. So I think when you come to understand that voice in the head, because the voice in the head can take you in so many different directions, create so many different scenarios, create so many different stories, some that are going to be reality, most that aren't. Um, and just trying to, I think once you know what those voices are and you've dug deep enough, then maybe you can start to address them somehow and then maybe start to help answer that question. So I'll, I'll get to them right now because you say, what are they? What are they? Um, let me, I just wrote them down so I could be clear with what I'm saying. Um, number one, I think this is something that happens with all of us. What do I want to be? Uh, what do I want to do? And that's something that happens very early on in life. I mean, that's, uh, it's almost like 16 year old, 17, maybe 18, 19 year old mindset of what do I want to be? What, what do I want to do with my career, my life, whether you're an artist or not, uh, myself. Yeah, what do I want to be? I, I just wanted to draw. I just didn't know what that meant. Um, I wanted to be an artist, but I realized through time and life that I had to define that even more what that meant just to be an artist. You can't just say you want to be an artist. That's not good enough. The, the reality is it's just like you can't just say I want to be a doctor, right? You, you got to, uh, am I, am I going to be a surgeon? Am I going to be a foot doctor? Am I going to be, um, you know, uh, a child, you know, uh, doctor? Well, what, what are you going to be? You, you have to define that. Um, so that's very important to try to determine that. But yeah, what do you want to be? And then you'll get to a point where you figure out what you want to be, what you want to do. Okay. So then that go takes you on a journey. Now you start going on this exciting adventure of somewhat you get opportunities here and there you get job offers things happen hey this is feeling good and you may not even be married at this point you may not even have kids at this point but through life what ends up happening the next thing that sort of pops into my mind i just kind of want to keep this in order is um a reoccurring thing am i doing enough because now you get to a point where you've landed your gig, you've landed your job, but still, it's never, and this is the crazy thing, what I find about life is like, it's never enough, even if you think that's where you wanna be, you're looking to find that next thing to enjoy, or, you know, you I, I, I'm, it, that next thing, that that's gonna be the better thing, and then that's gonna fulfill me, that's gonna make it great, and I can speak from someone, and I'm not ashamed to say that I've done and been successful within my career and done a lot of great things, and I'm not boasting or anything, but it's me, and that's what I've done, and I'm proud of my accomplishments that I've accomplished in this life up to this point. It's I'm only halfway there in the journey, okay, but, what I do realize, having experienced all these um, the, these great things that have happened, they never last. They never ever do. I don't care if you're the director of the top grossing movie. I don't care if you're the top action star of a movie. I don't care if you've fulfilled whatever you've done that is grand and great. It's fulfilling at that little 
moments in time. But then what happens when you achieve those things is you're wanting more. Am I doing enough? Have I done enough? No, and a lot of times you don't. And I think that's something that's very real and very true that you want to just discover and ask yourself and, and know that, I think, that it's never going to be the next thing. It's, it's going to be right now. It's whatever you're involved in right now, whatever you're doing right now, that moment, those are going to be those joyful, um, enjoyable moments. It's nothing else that's going to happen because when they do happen, it'll be at that moment, you'll enjoy that. And I can say that from my own experience, whether you'll experience it or not, I'm pretty sure you will. If you haven't already, you could probably say the same thing, that yeah, I did get that job and that exciting thing did happen for me and it was exciting at that moment, And but I still want something else now. I want more because we're always, the grass is always greener syndrome, um, but it never is. So it's, it's that's a whole nother topic. Um, so am I doing enough? So that's something that goes in my mind. You know, even like as I'm doing the things that I do, I go, am I doing enough? And I'm a lot of times trying to slow things down, but it's, am I doing enough? The next thing is, um, am I living out my full potential? Am I doing, that's another, that reoccurring voice in the head that goes on. Am I doing what I know that I may be capable of doing. Am I doing that, that I've always, my, I, I know I, I got this ability to do this and I know that I'm good at this, so I know I can get good at this if I put in more time and effort and I just focus. Am I living out to my, am I living out my full potential? And that's that other thing where constantly, no matter where you are at your career, no matter what you've achieved, you're going to probably thinking about that scenario in your head. What's, what more can I do? I know I can do better if, I know I could just, if I just do this, I could get that. But again, it's not that that's gonna be the end or fulfilling moment of your career and life and moment, but that's what's going to, um, I think, be a driving thing that's in your head. So that's another thing. Am I living out to my fullest potential, okay? And then the last thing that I'm thinking is, am, am I making enough money? That's another huge thing that you're always at that scenario and you're working and you're doing stuff, but then other opportunities may come, but you still think, am I making enough money or how do I make more money? Unfortunately, we live in the society where yes, we need money to, uh, to pay for things and, and have the luxuries that we want if we wanna have the, the ease, because what money gives you is freedom, okay? And it is nothing to be ashamed of. Uh, it's nothing to be afraid of. But money gives you the freedom to to try to do the things you want to do, to to to, to eat out, to to go to those shows you want to go to, to pay for the supplies you need to buy, to to purge. You name it. That's what it does. So that's always going to be that reoccurring theme, and that's what most people will always judge you by, unfortunately. And even your parents, your grandparents, anyone else, it becomes like, what are you going to do, son, in your life that's going to earn you a living? Sorry. Hey. I'm sorry, I get nervous. I'm not going to cut that just because it's more editing on my end. But uh, my dog one time jumped hey, over the bridge. Jumped in the house. Life happens. And that was one of those little moments in life that the heart stops. Because my dog jumped, I I'm on a second story, and my dog actually jumped off one day to chase a dog and survived. How, I do not know, um, but it happened. Um, so back to where I was at, um, just with the understanding that, that uh, the money, so you start to think about that. What, can I, what, what more can I do? Oftentimes comes down to that question, what more can I do to generate even more income once you get on a roll of doing something? So these are just a lot of the questions that I find um, asking myself, and I know you ask yourself and other people ask themselves, and now the trick is to try to, now that you understand those maybe, is try to hone in and just ask yourself, well, 
what can be done about it? What are the different steps that I can take? So that's a never ending quest. The next thing that happens is again, your lives are going to change. Many of you guys that uh, may watch this aren't married, maybe don't have kids yet. Okay. Maybe aren't going to have kids. Um, but that's something where everything changes even more. So it kicks into gear when you have a family. Um, and the family life because before that before having kids I don't remember ever thinking so much as I've thought in the last 13 years like my mind has just jet set it into a whole other atmosphere with with thoughts on on all this and the art and all the stuff that I share and that just having the drive and having the want and the desire and the belief in yourself just to make things happen but it kicks in even more once you have kids because when you don't have kids, that's your time to be practicing and drawing and quite honestly, probably not thinking so much about all this stuff because this stuff that I just talked about is going to come. It's going to come. It's going to hit you at some point in your life. If you're fortunate, you may be grabbing a hold of it and attaining it and retaining it right now um, at a young age, which would be even better that you understand the concept. But a lot of times people have to have experience in life in order to truly understand it. And that's where a lot of my stuff comes from experience. And that's when you got to face it for yourself. You're going to cross that bridge when you get there. Right now, you probably may go, eh, whatever, you don't care. I mean, we all did that when we we're younger. Yeah, whatever, mom, whatever, dad, you know, yeah, whatever. And then realize later on in life they were right. Okay, and that's the same thing. I'm conscious when I talk to my kids and it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, oh boy, I'm doing the exact same thing. To, uh, they're doing the exact same thing I did to my parents. It's like, yeah, 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 right. But I realized and I wish I had the wearable. And it was interesting because one of my biggest uh, drives, most important thing in my life at this point, which consumes my mind all the time, is because I have kids is wanting to be with my kids and wanting to watch them grow up and be around them and not have that regret in life and not miss out on that and and I know that's huge and I was at lunch with a friend the other day and he was telling me you know because I've, I've been working at home about 10 11 years now watching my kids grow up and uh, being able to do the things that I do with them and not coming home, you know, all of a sudden I'm there in bed and I get to eat dinner with them and I get to do all the things that I do. And he said, you know, I really, you know, wish I had that. He said, my kids are all growing up now and they're out of the house. And uh, every time I came back from the studio, you know, it was like 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. By that point, they, everyone was done with dinner and the kids were getting ready for bed and I missed out on that my whole life. And you're so lucky that you became aware of that at a younger age and you realize that. And I, you know, and I realized that I did and I'm, I'm happy that I did. I did realize that. And that became a huge, that's a huge factor in my life right now. That's, that consumes me more than anything else. But so when I tap into these, am I doing enough? Am I living up to my fullest potential? Am I making enough money? I know where I, what I do. I know what I want to be. But when I think about those things, it always ties in back into my kids. It's like, that I wanna, I can't go beyond, beyond because otherwise I'll miss out on that. So I realize in the next five years, six years, once my kids are out of the house, well then that's when I'll make these other changes. So what I just wanna open up to you guys is just more of just coming to this realization, coming to an understanding, really thinking about these things and seeing if you can somehow grab hold of them and don't let them maybe overtake your mind uh, so much, but try to use that energy and use that force in a creative way. And if it's something that's bugging you so much and it's just driving you to insanity because you're so distraught by it or it's so upsetting to you, well, then that's the thing that you know you really have to work on and fix. It's the same thing with your artwork, within your own artwork. What is it that you see in your own artwork that you struggle with, that you suffer with, that it's just a burden and you just, every time you look at your artwork, you just go, blah, ah, oh, damn. What is that? What is that thing that you're doing that to? So when you identify that, that's what you know you have to work on because that's what it's about. So um, that's where we're sort of at with the art talk. 
Uh, just make sure you maintain a drive. You know, thinking about that drive, I'm rambling on here, but in order to get to any destination, how do you get there? I mean, you may cycle, you may walk, you may take a train, you may take a plane, you may, but you drive, okay? So there's some form of, of motion that takes place. Your body needs to physically move in order to get from one point to the next point where you're here, but you want to get there. How are you going to get there? Well, you're never going to get there by standing still, ever. You have to make an effort. You got to make that move. So a drive, right? let's just say you got to drive there. I got to drive there. So just think about that within yourself that you need drive. You need drive within yourself in order for you to get what it is that you want out of life. You got to have the drive. If you don't have the drive, you cannot get there. I like that. And that's what I'm going to end this with. Stuff rolls out of my head. All right. So thanks again, guys. Um, and uh, what did I else want to say? That was it. I don't have. Um, yeah, just <clears throat> if you're around for uh, CTN. Uh, Expo Thursday the 19th. I'm having a big bash at my school, which is just six minutes away from the Marriott where it's going to be my par. It's going to be awesome. Live band. Awesome, awesome model uh, that night. Just a lot of people who are going to be at CTN and aren't going to be at CTN. So you're going to see a lot of different things. Um, I encourage you go there. Have fun. Drink. Be merry. Um, enjoy. You don't need to be registered and, um, you know, it's going to be something different. You're going to be at CTN for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You don't need to be there any other time. Come hang out with me. I'll be there those other night, those other days at CTN, okay? Uh, so that's it. Have a great one. Make it a positive, powerful week and um, take care. See ya. Understand what is happening all underneath here.